Hey everyone and welcome to another Roberts Production Studios video tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you a little trick in Photoshop. How to uh, replace people's faces. In this case Arnold Schwarzenegger's face. We're going to replace his face with uh, one of these pictures that I have down here. Well, I was looking around Flickr and I found a picture of uh, this guy with a unibrow. Unibrow. And uh, this guy slash man lady. Okay. <laughs> half lady. Okay. Half man. Okay. Half man man lady. Okay. Um, I don't think it would be a good idea to replace Arnold Schwarzenegger's face with a man lady. So let's just put that picture away and use unibrow man. What we're going to do for uh, unibrow man is uh, something that's really annoying me is this unibrow. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, kind of like take it away. I'm going to use a clone stamp tool. Or is it right here? Clone stamp tool. Hold down alt to pick the area that you want to clone and just just work like this. Kind of cleans up his unibrow just a little bit, you know. Sorry if I messed up in some spots, but um, I just want to do this real fast before we do anything <laughs> to this guy. All right. Now that we've have we have his unibrow taken away, I'm going to take the um, lasso tool, okay, and we're just gonna pick a portion of his face. I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, all this. We don't need his ear and maybe his neck, his chin. I'm just doing this real fast. Your selection will probably be a lot better than mine. All right, now you're going to uh, right click layer via copy, and we're gonna bring this layer to the new Arnold Schwarzenegger's picture. Uh, by the way. When I did the uh, lasso tool, I had the feather set to three pixels up here. Okay, we're gonna go here. And we're gonna uh, hit Control T to bring the uh, size of this picture down a little bit, and we're actually gonna wanna bring the size of the picture down to match his face. So I'm gonna bring the opacity of this photo down just like that, put it over his face, and try to match it up with his eyes and stuff. Okay, he's going to really be looking towards the side, but uh, that's all right. Okay, now that you've done that, you can press enter. Let's move it over here just a little bit. And we're going to bring the opacity of the photo back up. Okay. Um, let me just, okay. We're going to, next thing we're going to do is we're going to match the colors and make it blend in. Okay, um, actually, if you want to make it look a little better, we can go to Edit, Transform, Perspective, and bring down, change this per the perspective of this image just a little bit. Bring, grab this little uh, square to the uh, right and just drag it down and it'll make it move like that. Then press Enter. Okay. Now, we're going to do something called Match color. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this layer 0 which is Arnold Schwarzenegger's body and all that. We're going to select the lasso tool. And we're going to actually uh, unview the layer 1 where it shows his face. We're going to turn off the visibility for him and we're going to select Arnold's face with the lasso tool. just like that. We're going to right click and select layer via copy. Then we're going to re uh make this layer 1 visible again, okay? And we're going to turn off the visibility. Well, that's fine. Layer 2 it doesn't matter if it's visible or not. What we're going to do is go to click on layer 1, which is our new face. Okay, we're going to go to uh image adjustments match color. We're going to go here to source and we're going to choose um, 015 
which is the name of this Arnold Schwarzenegger picture, 015.jpg. And we're going to choose layer 2, which is the one that we made. And you can see it kind of fixed his face, but uh, we can change the settings here, like the luminance. Made his face real yellow. We can kind of fade this a little bit. Bring this up just like so. Click OK. Then uh, what you want to do is we can uh, go up here, use the clone stamp tool, bring the size of the clone stamp tool down a little bit. We're going to hold down Alt and we're going to select the area, top area of his forehead. And we're going to just kind of like, uh, let's see if this even works. Is this working? Do I do this? Um, okay, actually what we're going to do is we're going to select the clone stamp tool again. We're going to hold down Alt and select this part of his forehead. Okay, then we're going to color the rest of Arnold Schwarzenegger's forehead the color of this guy's face. All right, we can go in just a little bit closer. Mine's not going to be perfect, but uh, get the idea. Okay, and uh, that's how you replace somebody's face in Adobe Photoshop. So we've got this guy with the unibrow man. We fixed his unibrow, and we changed his face up and put it here into Arnold Schwarzenegger's face. That is how you do uh, face replacement in Photoshop. So uh, just um, thought this may be helpful. Hopefully it was. If you're on YouTube, please rate, comment, subscribe. One thing I want to actually tell you is that uh, our upcoming tutorials, just so you know, we're going to have a lightning tutorial. shows you how to do some lightning in Photoshop and a Web 2.0 logo tutorial. These tutorials were brought to you by PhotoshopTalent.com. They were um, from PhotoshopTalent.com, and I'm just making video tutorials from them. This face replacement tutorial I made up, uh, this is actually from us. We thought of this, and, uh, and hopefully it's helpful. Maybe there's easier ways to do it, but uh, this is the way that I can show you how. This is the easiest way I know of doing it. Um... I wanted to let you know our new website, rpstudios.web44.net. That is our new website. Uh, we've been working on that lately. That's why we've kind of delayed our tutorials. But uh, we are now back. And uh, soon we will be purchasing a paid domain. And hopefully it's robertsproductions.net or robertsproductionsstudios.net. But uh, for now, it's rpstudios.web44.net. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. I'm Robert from Robert's Production Studios, and until next time, take care.